Alright everyone and welcome back to some more Throwback Thursday. Today's race was requested by Jack Hickman aka Hickey96. It's a TGP Series Season 3 Singapore and as the race goes on you'll see why he requested this one but yep we're on the grid, we're only 12th on the grid because we disconnected from qualifying as did he actually, he's down at the back there in 14th, our teammate only 9th as well. As it, yep the lights are coming on now then. And away we go in Singapore for round 14 of the season. And yeah, we get a decent start, but then I didn't realise the track was actually damped uh, right from the off. And we spin into the pit wall, leaves a bit of our front wing. And that does actually allow us to avoid some of the carnage going on in front of us. My is going backwards. Hickey spins. Uh, Deadly Calpat lost his front wing as well. Then we've got Arte and Simoncelli crashing. We have nowhere to go. We go straight into them as well. Then we've got Drastic Image and Legion have also had a collision. Deadly Calpat's just passed us without his front wing. And yeah, absolute carnage. We've got three wide up in front of us as well. A Lotus, I think, um, getting involved. But actually coming out uh, best of that, I think. I must have been Sir Lane, I'm guessing. As they get, we've got Deadly Calvert then with that front wing just in front of us. We should be able to pass him here. Rounding outside into the left-hander, we've got Hickey and Elusive Cab battling in front of us as well. Going into the right-hander then. And there's little, actually a little bit of a lag barrier there. We sort of push him into Hickey, even though there was no contact on our screen. And yet Elusive Kev then goes wide to, I think, let him back through and he actually wipes out Deadly Kalpa in the process as we got him further in the wall. And now Arte's back in front of us as well while all that was going on. As we actually lose the connection to Zerlane now as well. So, yeah, uh, obviously the last week I showed you round one of this um, season. And uh, since then, actually, it's Arte who's taken the lead of the championship. Then he's had a very good season so far. He's gone about 30 points clear. Tyrell Schumacher left after a few races. And yet yeah, we're still in second place, I think, just ahead of Mafurza, who's actually behind us on the track right now then. And uh, yeah, we see uh, uh, um, Arte trying to pass Hickey, actually. So yeah, we don't want to lose too many points to Arte then, because he's already got quite a good lead at this point then. Had some very good races, and yeah, we've let quite a few slip at this point. As uh, yeah, we're heading through this tight final sector now then. And uh, yeah, only down in seventh place. And yeah, we've had a couple of wins by this point. Actually, I think we've only had one, but... Uh, one or two, I th yeah, I think we've only had one at this point. So yeah, we really want to like get some good points here and get back into the title fight because we're losing just too many at this point. As actually we've got Mafurza coming into the pit zone at this point for a drive through penalty. So yeah, that takes a bit of the pressure off us at this point as we start lap two. Actually going to skip to the end of the lap though, we've got DLT up in front I think just at the fastest lap of the race. We're now behind Kells in the Salva, he gets it loose on the exit of the final corner, we have nowhere to go, we smash into the back of him. And unfortunately, we get a drive through penalty for that, which is going to ruin our race, pretty much. And, yeah, I don't want to sound like I'm criticising TGP, because I always had a fun time in the league. But this was one of the things that um, always kind of uh, was a bit of a shame, really, that was the case, is that we had the um, drive through penalties instead of, like, time penalties. And uh, time penalties couldn't be taken off either. So, yeah, that was a shame. It sometimes ruined the races, which, um, yeah, I guess made it a bit more unpredictable. But, yeah if it happened to you it was always really annoying because obviously there was nothing you could do about it and sometimes it wasn't your fault and your race just kind of got ruined as we've actually gone wide there and lost the other end plate now and that allows Simon Shea to get past us so yeah it's going from bad to worse for us so far then we're down in sixth place and uh, yeah we're gonna uh, come into the pits now then I think I was gonna do my drive through here but uh, the game decided that I needed a front wing uh, decided that was more important and I'm now in the pits then as we've actually got Arte coming in as well then for a stop not sure what happened to him, he must have damaged his front wing at some point as well. And uh, yeah, he's actually behind the end, so that's actually going to help us at this point for the championship. We're down in 7th place then. I think someone else may be... Oh no, they're not actually, they're coming into the pits actually. I was, thought they were coming past us, but no they're not. And uh, yeah, we can't have this in 7th place then, but we've got to go straight back in to actually do our penalty now then. And Arte goes through, I think, the drastic midget. He's actually quite a way behind us now, but he's going to go f through. Platinum Impulse has actually been in for a, either a stop or a penalty as well. So yeah, quite a few people are actually affected by stuff then so far in this race, so it may not be as bad for us then. So we're going to rejoin, I think, in 10th place then, because Deadly Calpat is going to pass us here, going into turn 1 as we've got to navigate his pet exit. We actually skip to lap 6 now then, where those who, um, who by some miracle, have avoided any carnage will be coming in for their pit stops now. So there goes Drastic Major. Actually, Arte comes in as well at this point. So I don't know what happened to him there, but yeah, we've got Kells going out of the pits now then, who we had the incident with before. He's going to be on cold tyres here, and he actually runs wide, so let's see if we can cut back on him here. 
Well, we can't because the safety car has just come out for Simoncelli destroying his vehicle. And yeah, that's going to move us up to 7th place then. And it does bring us right back onto the tail of the field. And we actually use this opportunity to get a fresh set of prime tyres on them. We're into the pits for the third time already then in 7 laps. And uh, yeah, we're going to put... Because um, I was near the back anyway, I just thought, you know, why not put a fresh set of tyres on? Might as well. I've uh, got nothing to lose from doing that. So yeah, we come into the pits then. And it's going to drop us down to ninth place then. But I think actually Drastic Midget decides to come and join the safety car window as well. And uh, that's going to actually put us back up to eighth place then. As we've got a bit of ghosting going on here. That which all threw us off a bit. And Drastic Midget actually touched the wall for a second. But I think he got away with it. And uh, yeah, we're going to have to restart now then at the end of lap nine. Six laps of racing to go then. And there's probably not going to be any more scheduled pit stops to go. Because everyone will have used the safety car I think. Uh, their chances we actually got it loose on the curb there coming out of the final corner which is just a big mistake for us to make there and drastic midget's going to go straight past the end so we managed to get ahead of him and now we've just thrown it away really which is uh, certainly annoying from our um, perspective then as we've got a car going slowly it's actually legion who's a lap down so he's had a really dismal afternoon there it seems as we've got cows and platinum impulse in the wall then that's going to give us two places and that puts us up to seventh place then but we're still behind both our, well, behind Darcy, I think. And he's passing uh, one of the Red Bulls there for fourth place, I think. So, yeah, we really need to get a move on here because we can't be losing too many more points to him today. And we're going now into the right hand there to begin the third sector of the lap on lap 12. We're right in behind Drastic Midget here then. Uh, well, we're apparently 23 minutes behind him according to that graphic. But, uh, no, we're right behind him here then. And he's going to uh, lose the back end slightly there on the... Uh, coming out the corner and we pass him uh, well yeah drive straight past and then going into the final few corners of the lap and we're up to sixth place then and you're now going to see why Hickey requested this one to be featured in the throwback Thursday series because we are right behind him now then and uh, yeah I mean we've closed up to the back room here so it looked like we were quicker at this point so we set our personal best lap of the race then half a second behind him with three laps to go can we pass him and well by the end of the lap we still hadn't done so and uh, yeah, he actually goes wide there, coming out of the left hander. He's going to defend though, coming into the final corner. So now we're going to see if we can sort of get a better line here and get a better drive onto the pit straight. We actually use some of our curves here across the line. And uh, into turn one, we actually back out of it there. And we actually almost move across there on midget and almost put him in the wall. So yeah, a bit careless for me there as we've got the Red Bull of Deadly Calpat in the wall. He's lost his front wing, so that's a place gain for ascent as we lose our as we lose the back end there, coming out of turn three. So that's really compromised the scent. That's going to, um, yeah, make, well, me, we're not, not going to be as close as we hope to be down the DRS straight. And now we're going to have to watch out for Drastic Imager instead. They didn't seem to be close enough here. And, uh, yeah, we maintain the place then. But, uh, yeah, we're still, it still seems like we're quicker than Hickey, but we just can't pass him here, which is, which is what was a frustrating thing. And why, obviously, he enjoyed this race because, uh, yeah, he managed to defend the place very well then, and he's doing a very good job at this point then, as we're going across the uh, Singapore sling now then, and uh, yeah, we're closing right up to him here though, and uh, I'm not sure if I actually cut that there, but certainly helping myself to a lot of curb there. He actually goes a bit defensive into that left-hander, so maybe we will get a decent run out of the corner, but again, it didn't seem like we're close enough, and uh, we didn't seem to have the confidence on the brakes either to try and go for a desperate lunge. And I think our engineer is just telling us that you have to pass him. And it's like, yeah, I know engineer, but I, I just can't. And uh, yeah, we're heading to these final few chicanes then. And uh, we're right on the back of him, but just no way past in this section. And uh, yeah, I was, I was obviously trying to put as much pressure as I can, see if I could force some kind of mistake from him. That allowed me to sneak through and take the place because any any more places I could gain here would have been very much helpful. As we have another little cheeky look there into the final corner to see if we can throw him off slightly. But no, he's still defending it then. Across line to begin the final lap. We're using our curves across line once again. We're going to see if we can go around the outside or at least just get the better line through the corner. But we can't do that and he's still hanging on to the position here. Coming out of turn three, we use some more of our curves then to make sure we're right behind him here for the DRS straight to see if we can actually get the run on him. So we go through the right-hander, actually a little bit of a lock at them, but we're still pretty close behind him here. And uh, we use the rest of our curves, but no, we're just nowhere near him. And in fact, Drastic Midget's getting the run on this now then, towards turn six, I think this is. And he's gonna try and go around the outside here, but we've maintained the inside line. Quite aggressively shut the door there, but I think that was just about fair from us there to defend the place. And we maintain fifth place, but 
that was loud hicking now to get a little bit of a gap on us here and it's looking less likely now well it wasn't looking good for us anyway but looking less and less likely now that we're going to actually be able to pass him here as he's got a nice gap here we were all over the back of him here on this at this point on the previous lap as legion is a lap down he's destroyed his vehicle and i mean he was out of the points anyway so uh, yeah, I think I was just overall a miserable race for him as Hickey was out of shape there. Coming out the left hander, down the back straight here. We, This is surely our last chance here to get a good run, but no, we don't go for it. We don't. We weren't confident enough. And obviously I was in the championship fight, so I couldn't like throw it up the inside and risk something like that as he's gone deep into the chicane there. And uh, I think maybe just going a bit over defensive there. But... Yeah, it was a really great defensive drive from him in these final few laps. This is why he requested it. And I mean, if you want an example of how to defend the play successfully and fairly, then all you have to do is watch this because all of his moves here are completely fair. And he manages to keep us behind, even though it did look like we were quicker. As we cross line in fifth place with DLT winning from Arte, our teammate Brandon, and Hickey in fourth. Hope you enjoyed this. If you did, a like would be appreciated. I will see you next week for something from either former Xbox or Pinnacle. And uh, yeah, once again, thank you for watching and goodbye.